Welcome to Dorsta. Hi, I'm Ramajin. Today we're gonna do another shit talk with the Buddy Wolf and Sheru. Let's go! Guys, what do you think about uh, pineapple underneath a pizza, uh, on top of a pizza? Underneath? <laughs> no, no, top, 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 please, yeah. like. On, on top, on top of it. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, or maybe you you clo- you fold the pizza mm. with the pineapple inside, and then you make a sandwich with it. What do you think? I mean, like um, um, I call that like roll of pizza. Uh, ah, the um, pineapple calzone. roll pizza. A pineapple calzone. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm gonna be that means that means worse. <laughs> another what? <laughs> no, 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 another blasphemy. Pineapple and pizza. <laughs> no, 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 no. And he's angry now. <laughs> so, buddy dog is an Italian, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably that's, that's the Italian. reason why why I don't like pineapple and pizza. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why? More reason, please. Uh, because I don't think that today that they meet, they match the pizza and the and the pineapple. I don't think that they are good to, like, together. Oh. So. Yeah, so that's, not, the, uh... that's, the, that's the classic Italian pizza, like margarita. Yeah. Like, Dough, no, no, yeah, because, sauce and cheese. Yeah. But, but you know the the um, yeah, yeah. No, no, you go. You can speak. The no, no, I don't eat the margarita. I prefer the pepperoni one because margarita for me is too too empty. Got too plain, something. Yeah. Mm. I, actually, actually, I like the, <laughs> the margarita one. I I don't like. Too many if I, uh, yeah, I like it, but uh, if I buy a margarita, then my stomach will require another pizza because. Uh... <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah. Hey, but with that, you need, so you to need a well co- filled Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, but I like the feel of the cheese, uh, formaggio, we call it, uh, on, on the mouth. Yeah. It's, it, but if you put pepperoni, it gets mixed up, so you don't feel the cheese flavor mm. and the tomato mm. underneath, uh, accompanied with the yeah, mozzarella. Yeah. So it all... I, I, I hope that you don't become like an American that put cheese in on everything. Macaroni and cheese, no. yeah, pasta yeah. with cheese, everything with cheese. No, no, no. 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 So that's 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 typical American, yeah. Put cheese on anything. Cheese. I mean, we Dutch cheese we on love cheese. cheese, but cheese we don't cheese. put cheese on everything. And then, yeah, but if she... you look, it's amazing though. The Americans like cheese to put cheese on everything, but their options of the Types of cheese are pretty limited in America. If you look at like mm. the, you go into American supermarket, like they have many brands of cheese, but in general, it's only one type of cheese, and it's usually the shitty one that the Dutch don't like. <laughs> mm. When you start living in a place like Australia, you just you keep forgetting where you come from. You start eating what it reminds you of Italy, and you don't actually start. Mm. Uh, copying exactly what a pizza tastes like exactly, so you just you just start putting every cheese you find because you know you're in Australia you need to find cheap stuff in it because you know going to an Italian <sighs> restaurant in Australia is very expensive. Right? It's like you have to oh, one yeah. pizza is like twenty five dollars in Italy. It's just yeah. five euro. <laughs> it's such exaggeration. Yeah. So then I you just the same. That's, that's the same with like uh, the ramen craze in Europe. Like lots of restaurants selling ramen. Well, ramen is in Japan is fast food. You pay five, five euros for a bowl of ramen, and if you pay more, you're an idiot. In in Europe, you easily pay between <clears throat> but ten. We don't put pineapple in ramen. 
Nabo, Nabo. <laughs> no, oh, Japanese. Nabo, no, that's, no. that's the same. Yeah, but my samurai, I bet there is a restaurant in America that serves ramen with pineapple. I guarantee you, there is one. And cheese. And cheese. And cheese. And cheese. Definitely. Uh, Trust me, there is one. <laughs> and it's going to be less popular than no, maybe mozzarella uh, pizza nice, and pineapple. Yeah, But I think the the thing of where the pizza with the pineapple and the cheese comes from is in, in the Netherlands, we have like this uh, simple menu item that's called um, it's a slice of toast. You put some ham on it and on top of it you put one like from the can, uh, the pineapple ring, and you layer it with cheese and then perhaps some herbs, and you put it in the oven for like two, three, four, five minutes. Then it comes out, and the combination of cheese, ham, and pineapple is quite interesting. And I think that's what the Americans also thought, and they ran with it and thought, well, if you replace bread with pizza, you probably get something similar, and that's where the pizza Hawaii comes from. And I think that's the origin of it, basically. But then again, indeed, if you expose an Italian to a pizza with a pineapple on top of it, they're going to go like, Mamma mia, what is this? Mamma mia, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marcello! <laughs> is that a pizza? Is that a pizza? <laughs> but do you accept the combination of pineapple and pizza, Sherry? Mm, well, I'm not an Italian. Um, in general, I think most pizzas with pineapple on top of it are not, not the good pizzas. No, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a matter of being... In front of me, I would eat it. It's not a matter of being Italian, it's a matter of being human. So if you're a human being, you don't accept pineapple <laughs> with pizza. <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> so you're, you're just saying that only Italians are humans. Mm, I get it. No, no, I mean, no, I'm not saying that. I mean, say you're a human too. Yeah. No, but in, in general, I'm, I think the flavor combination of ham, pineapple and cheese is a very good one. And then you just have to wonder, I'm, I'm used to it of having it on toast, but I'm not very used to it having it on pizza. And to be honest, if I'm ordering pizza, I know like a lot of flavor combinations that are way more interesting. I'm very keen on uh, pizza with mushrooms. That's really a good one. Mm. What's it called again? Yeah. Uh, Have you ever tried yeah. the the pizza with Nutella on it? Oh, yeah. man, it's a sweet good. pizza. Yeah. Yeah, that's pizza. Good. pizza with, and, that's even worse. Nutella. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's good, actually. Yes. Oh, you have no yeah. idea. Should you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pizza I used I used to eat that when I was a kid because my father used to prepare it for me. Oh, oh my gosh! I thought so Italians good. would have a point with the pizza with the pineapple on top, and they're gonna tell you they have pizza with Nutella. I'm like, but well, uh, okay. The, the theory is you don't put you don't put fruit on pizza. Yeah, because, fruit. But the, mm. the problem is okay. The, the, there was the, I, I argued this theory with um, with a uh, not scientist with a teacher, and uh, mm -hmm. and he said if you tomato is a fruit. I said what? <laughs> tomato is not a fruit. It's a vegetable. Well, it, it but scientifically, yeah. people said okay, it's a fruit. Okay, yeah. But Thank that's the, fruit, the yeah. reason why you can put ananas on pizza because ananas is a fruit too. Uh, <laughs> no, you can. Yeah, Italian people will never agree agree about this scientific mm. rule. They will always keep saying tomato is a vegetable. And yes. my friend, I asked this to my friend, and he said, "Look, try to convince people like this. When you, when you, when you, when you have to go with a girl and have sex with her, you you put on condom, right? But mm. you don't go and take a can of plastic on your dick." It's not the same material. I mean, that's that's the point of it. So it's it, even though it works, <laughs> even though it works, yeah. So they are exactly the same material, but it's it's two different things, you know. <laughs> that's the, the what he said. So yeah, okay. Hmm. But the, the the only time I have problems with like when you take and sort of an 
product, uh, like a, a, a meal, and you add like weird ingredients to it. The only time I'm like concerned about why you would do that if the reason behind it is stupid. For example, pasta carbonara is a very good example. It's a very nice dish, very simple to make, and with very few ingredients. And then still, lots of people outside Italy, they say like, well, it's a creamy thing, like pasta with egg and cheese. Um, and they go like, okay, you have to add cream to it, like cream, um, like condensed cream or whatever, some kind of cream. Mm-hmm. And then that defeats the purpose of carbonara because the egg yolk is supposed to make it creamy, not something you add to it beside the egg yolk. Uh, but with mm. pizza, but pineapple on pizza, it's like it's a topping. Uh, if people like it, then why care about it? It's not going to change the, the way the pizza is presented. And you, you say no fruits on a pizza. I'm like, I, I bet there's a restaurant in America that is selling pizzas with grapes on it. And- Apple and whatever. Mm. Mm, Apple on pizza? I mean, if you want to hear some real heresy, the Dutch got some really weird pizza combinations and the Japanese as well. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think yeah. the pineapple is a little bit over, over, I think, overdone. I think, I think uh, it's just pe- people do things because probably they want to sell another type of pizza because the normal pizza probably gets boring. After mm. seven years of living in Australia, I came back to Italy and I found out the menu is completely different. Now they put carbonara on a pizza. I, I was oh totally God. shocked. I said, what the fuck is that? They put, carb- they put, uh, they, they put on menu. Now, now there is a possibility to eat a pizza carbonara. So with the same flavor of Spaghetti carbonara, now you can have pizza carbonara. Oh, no. no. So, yeah, that, oh, some no. restaurants in Rome are doing this. I saw that. No. <laughs> like no. pizza matriciana, pizza carbonara. I saw that. Dude, I'm not kidding. Evolution. Yeah, that's a really weird one. Congratulations. Yeah, evolution, Rome. yeah. Probably it's better sushi on pizza than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real heresy. <laughs> Thank you for Buddy Wolf and Sheru for, for your opinion. And uh, see you in the next video. Hello, cat. Gato. Gato. <laughs> meow, meow. It's sweet. Oh, really? Why Gato. are you coming in here? Hello, <laughs> Yes. Gato. Gato. But, Romaji, why are people joining this role if we're recording here? I don't know. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.